Good morning, folks. This is one of a number of new visualizations you can find at the SVS links to NASA below. Got minimum sea ice content here. Also have temperature modeling. Now they've modeled it a few different ways to account for various possibilities, but no, you won't find the Ice Age simulation anywhere. They've done precipitation as well, which, hot or cold, is going to continue to break records. Speaking of rain records, flooding is breaking them as they crest location after location downstream in Europe. The rain is not torrential anymore, but adding to the problems as we're still at major level across four countries, with some locations not seeing a high water line until tonight or later. Breaking briefly from weather to discuss a one meter drop in the sea depth at the South Bali buoy. For those into the pole shift theory, hollow earth, expanding earth, supervolcano, tectonic destabilization, or a hundred others, this seems to be a big deal. You can watch the February 25th news to get a primer or check the more focused video from April 30th, Disturbance Under the Ocean. Back to the weather, Southwest Pacific where severe weather will be isolated and scattered. That is a cyclone brewing south of the Japan coastline, luckily they're expecting it to weaken. Caribbean and surrounding areas here, very unpredictable even hour to hour. West coast drier today as long as you stay south of Vancouver. Won't be the case as we move east to encounter a power low over the U.S. Remember the convergence tail drives cool dry north air into warm gulf moisture. The equalization of temperature moisture and electric potential where they collide south of the main system will see severe storms this evening. No major quaking yesterday, but we did have some larger ones down south and whenever the west chilly rise is active, look for more in the Americas. Beautiful shots of one of Kamchatka's many volcanoes. This one is active, although we might not be so sure of that without our new cameras. Link is below. Took two gamma bursts last night. Andromeda let one fly, followed shortly after by Leo. Another day of highly variable solar wind. You remember we had coronal hole streams and minor CMEs in nearby space. For now, Earth systems are not showing signs of major instability, but the current density ramp is significant. Had some low-level sea flares only. Apart from minor southeastern development, the active region up north has the power to fire large flares now, just so far choosing not to do so. Umbral Field is dancing again where she won't be forecasted. Interesting polarity mix top left where red goes green momentarily. I'd like to reiterate from yesterday that there have been more coronal holes and openings in the last 10 days than I can ever remember. Even Umbral Fields atop can't fully hide weaker openings below. Can I admit to not understanding what that means for our watches? Don't really have a choice as I can't even tell if this field will stay open next week. Darker areas are those coronal openings and coronal holes. The bright areas show high particle flux in the magnetic loops of sunspots. We'll catch a last look at the plasma tree before it turns onto the earth facing disk. Also got some departing plasma and a full disk close up in 171 angstroms. Eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.